Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Freaky Friday, 28 Feb. 29 days in Feb this year. Won't be March till Sunday. Last day of the month, so beware of month end hedging. Today at the final fix. Um, we'll be dollar buying today. I'm pretty sure. I haven't really checked too closely, but with this stock, uh, with the US stock sell off, um, Actually, no, because this was so recent. I don't know what's going to happen at the fix today, the end of the month. So, uh, just going to have to sniff around, see what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, big moves yesterday. Uh, 130 handle move lower at the close uh, in stocks. So, let's take the hourlies. Printed that 05 low back through the 200 day, all the way up 3104. Uh, and then we closed 29.56, 29.51. I don't know where we closed. We closed down there at yeah 56. Uh, in Asia so far, been a hell of a ride up to 80. Now uh, down to 07. We're trading at 17 now. So we're 500 handles, 500 handles from 34, the figure. Quite stunning. I don't know many people who have participated on the downside um, for these last sort of 150 handles. We, we definitely have not. Uh, we've been trading the S&P. You have lots of opportunities to buy it and to sell it. It's a trader's market right now. Um, but it's also a trend followers market if you got in early enough. So. <clears throat> Um, obviously, a week ago Friday, we were selling down through 133.40. Um, if you held those, you're a superstar. That's amazing. Right now, it's getting stretched, uh, and it's a trader's market. Every day, we have 100 handles up. We have 100 handles down, sometimes two times. So plenty of opportunities out there. Stay calm. Be patient. Uh, No uh, FOMO, no hindsight trading. Uh, new day today. Let's see what's on offer. A couple things. Sterling Yen broke last night through this 140.90. We've been talking about this level for a couple of weeks. A bit tricky if you look on the uh, hourlies. We traded down to 84, then back up to 40, uh, which made it quite tricky for those who sold through 90. But then event eventually we came back down. We do have a core short sterling yen. Uh, we did get taken out of the chunky stuff on that move back higher. Uh, but we do have this core short. This looks like it has some room to roll. The sterling side of the argument could easily help this as well today. Uh, hard to say which side's going to be more powerful, yen or sterling. But sterling yen's broken. we got more breaks to go at 39.35. Core short sterling yen's the way. Euro, a big, big, powerful day. Um, after yesterday, the Germans were like, yeah, we're changing fiscal rules. We're not changing. We're changing. We're not changing. They finally came out and said, yes, we are going to do sporadic help on the fiscal side. Uh, this means basically rates higher, kind of the end of QE. You can't really be buying bonds and, and selling them to yourselves. Well, that's what they are doing. But this is also, um, this bar is also just because the world is getting out of U.S. equities. So all of the Europeans are getting out of dollar-based assets. They sell their NASDAQ, they have a pile of dollars they need to repatriate into euros. This um, this is going to keep going. 110.14, um, we're hoping for print. It's at 06 now. Maybe some consolidation and a continued move higher on that. We like euro dollar higher. Dollar yen, very tricky yesterday. My lord. Huge buying. Between 90 and 05 and dollar yen yesterday, so we we printed uh, here the hourlies here printed the 85, 
back to 24, back to 87, all the way up to 32. Really? 110, 32. How you like them apples? Very tough to stay short yesterday. And then finally, the dam broke, um, and here we are, 108.80. 109.30 to 50 is, is resistance today in um, dollar yen. Dollar cat, we talked about it yesterday, a little bit stubborn around that 50 area. We had a lot of, we got quite a few news bombs and whatnot. Here's that 50 area, so 74 the high. 42 to the low, lots of toing and froing, but once we got through 74, on our way, 134.40 now, dollar CAD. CAD yen speaks for itself, um, Aussie yen speaks for itself. If you're core short this stuff, you can start trading it now. It's gone 3 or 4% um, since these basically. Since these 73s, Kiwi Yen, same thing. Uh, where's Kiwi Yen? Anyway, Kiwi Yen also 3% lower. You can start to trade this now. This stuff is going to continue to go lower, but just like S&Ps, these are tradable positions. There's a lot of volatility. Uh, you got to keep your position sizing a little bit smaller a little bit wider parameters or you have to trade it a little bit more than perhaps you're used to. Uh, it's that kind of market. Gold getting slaughtered uh, basically because everyone just has to liquidate everything. It's like all hands on deck, liquidate everything, press the red button, uh, sell everything Bobby. And one of the core positions that everybody has was gold. Here's the thing once this whole liquidation period is over you can buy gold again um, so you wanna as all these people are stopping out certainly down into this 1610 area you might wanna try and buy some gold uh, for now we expect stops below 25 more liquidation today on a, on a Friday so um, but you might wanna between 1610 and, and, and 1590 you, wanna, you might wanna grab some gold stick it in the portfolio Bitcoin's not doing too much. You know, we're playing around this sort of 88, 90 area. Uh, we've got a pretty decent average. We're trying to get long Bitcoin, even though on the liquidation theme, just like gold, Bobby sell everything. Bitcoin is being included in this, especially Bitcoin futures. Futures are held by like normal, I would say normal in quotes, whatever, humans. They don't have a wallet. They're not geeks. They're not nerds. They're not hold forever, hodl, whatever. They're not these people. These are people who have Bitcoin as a part of a financial portfolio. So this why this is why Bitcoin's getting liquidated under these circumstances. But just like gold, you want to try and sneak a dip in, in, in Bitcoin. Dollar CNH, oddly, um, just can't get above 705.60. This is the central bank here. This is China. I had a meeting with some guys last night. We were talking about Chinese stocks, Alibaba, and how these Chinese stocks are holding up so much better. Tencent, uh, better than all the rest of the stocks. Just, just because there's no rules in China. China's buying their own stocks. They're, set, they're buying their own currency. They're trying to limit volatility. Uh, and to be fair, they're doing an amazing job of it. Look at Dollar China. You would you just look at this chart and be like, well, nothing's going on. Um, but of course, if you look at other charts, there's a lot going on. Dollar Turkey's doing what it's doing. Dollars are. I don't have to show you that chart. You know where that is. Totally screwed. Uh, this can go a lot higher now. Um, 1570 is your next point. Um, You know, if Africa gets this uh, coronavirus going, this is this goes parabolic in like a crazy way. So I wouldn't I wouldn't try and fade dollars are at this point. Fifty uh, is the support on the day. Finally, Kiwi, sixty two. The figure is lingering. This is a huge technical point. Uh, let's pull the monthlies up for this. 
you can see bang 6203 four months ago bang 6203 today uh, 6232 the low so far 41 um, 6241 right now this looks um, very interesting technically first time down will be support but once it's through there will be a cascade of selling it'll probably be similar to the dollar cad right there'll be like push and pull and break traders and stops near the figure and yada 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 uh, but this uh, Aussie and Kiwi I think uh, just as a global uh, bellwether for for risk are fucked so short Kiwi didn't work out for us yesterday short Kiwi by the way uh, what was up with that day stupid uh, this fucker went up to 33 yesterday it looked like it was bullish engulfing and no one knew what the hell was going on squared up my short kiwi here we are nice nice one anyway 62 the figure uh, might happen today it is a Friday it's kind of a Friday type level isn't it anyway I gotta hop here S&P's approaching 2900 uh, good luck out there, people. Uh, enjoy your trading uh, and have a safe trading day. Catch you guys on Monday. Ciao.